Okay, we are recording now. That is one of the reasons that you are doing this because I always forget those things. No worries. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. Forgot it one time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I heard. I heard people. Um, you know, already discussing the time of the meeting, and uh, and that's actually the action item. The first action item we have uh, is it is the time suitable for most of us. Or should we do a, a doodle poll or? No, not a doodle because we did a doodle once and it actually it was all over the world. So um, the key piece of evidence is that uh, um, if we move an hour later, it will be between 12 midnight and 1.30 in the morning in China. Uh, and that's um, not particularly fair. So this seems to be a good compromise because they didn't do daylight saving. Remember. Okay. So, and that's the reason that why it changed now, because it's the same time in Beijing as it was before. <laughs> so, but, but the choice between going from seven o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock in the morning for some people versus um, going from eleven o'clock to twelve thirty. Um, to twelve to one thirty seems that the balance of fairness is with the with um, China being able to start at eleven o'clock. Uh, and I'm actually strongly for keeping it as it is because the uh, first and second week of December I move to Philippines, and then I will be uh, on the eleven p.m. Uh, time. Again, the same as Beijing. Uh, so, since Greg brought this up, can you just state that you're okay doing it 7 a.m. in the morning? Yes, I can officially state that I'm okay 7 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, and uh, it's cool. Okay, thanks. Done. Yeah. Done. Uh, uh, Eric, do we have any other action items? We probably do, and uh, I can flip once I take the the, the comment down. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, we do have open uh, action items from uh, before IETF 112. Uh, we had started, um, we, we, we gathered some input, but I think it's still ongoing. If anyone has any um, vendor of, um, feedback on on the FAI, on, on, the, on the indicators on MIAD, uh, please share. Uh, and, you know, in the in-stack data, post-stack data discussions that we're having, um, no, no one specific, but uh, um, uh, Kiriti had uh, given some feedback. Why you had given some? Uh, if anyone wants to add, you know, I'm happy to take it down, record it. Um, anybody um, has any new input on this? Right. Um, what you have already recorded is that somewhere where we can see it. So in case there's something we want to add. Yeah, I, I think I think once we're uh, comfortable with closing the action item, uh, I can put it as a plan of record. You know that we're you know, this is our conclusion. But right now it's in the design uh, team action items uh, uh, wiki. I'm sharing it on the screen. It's sitting there. The feedback that I got from you and from why you. But I think you're asking is to, to take this and put it in separate wiki. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, I mean, so what you have there is that you got feedback from Juniper and from uh, Huawei, uh, how you. Um, the, the details of that feedback. Um, are we a? Are we going to do that? Because there was some question about that. And b, if we do that, uh, where will we put it so that, uh, you know, in, in my case, I'd like to review it and see if it's uh, as complete as we thought, and so on. Okay. 
Okay, I can create another wiki where you can have detailed, uh, you know, uh, feedback logged in there, uh, and then have a link here so that everybody can. Sure. Continue. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, that's good. You do that. Okay. Let me let me edit this one second. Uh, this is not friendly at all. Okay, I took this down, thank you. The second one we have, hmm. So we had started a, a consensus on a write-up. Uh, I, I think there was an action item. Um, Kiriti will send, uh, last we met, I think Kiriti was proposing a revision and uh, on the directive uh, text. Uh, is there an update on this? Uh, do, do have... know. Um, I got caught up in the ITF and haven't done it. So uh, for next week, I will. Okay. Should I just send it by email? Uh, there was a, a, a wiki where we have uh, the initial text. Okay. Um, you can I, will, add... I will add it there and then eventually, and once we've decided um, how to put it together, then we can edit it so we only have one version. We can keep the rest of the historical, but um, someone who goes to that page should say this is the definitive, at least the current version. Okay, I'll okay. find it and put it there. Okay. All right. Uh... Uh, so the, about the Nibbles registry, I uh, think you have given an ITF 112 a, an update. Uh, any, uh, there is a draft. Uh, uh, anything still needed on this action item? I think we are, uh, uh, we are progressing and I can remove it from our list as, as a closed. Uh, is everybody happy? Yeah, agreed. Uh, I mean, there's still work to do, but I think we can close it for now. Okay, cool. And, uh, wait, wait, before you do it. Yeah, you should do it. So there's no problem. But what I want to say is that if we do that. I lost you, oh. Noah. Sorry, do you hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Uh, so um, if, if you remove it here and close it, I would like to review it next time, ne next Thursday. So okay. It, it, discuss, it be discuss the draft at the meeting next time. Okay, yeah, so we can add it to agenda uh, next week's agenda. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Let me just uh, move this to the closed section, to the closed. Uh, uh, open items, and we have closed items somewhere here. Okay, uh, we'll go back. Uh, mm. so there's a trick where if you put the number to be one, all of them, then it will just, um, if you have a numbered list. Yeah. If you put the number always to be one, it will put them in the right uh, order. And so if you insert something, you don't have to renumber everything. But if you yeah. put one, two, three, four, five, and then you want to add something at the beginning or something in the middle, you have to renumber. Okay. I'll 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 do it. I'll 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 try the trick that you're telling me. If it works. So keep always one at the beginning. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but if you if you do that, then the number will be changed if we insert something in the middle. No, it, the tool itself will uh, adjust the numbering. I think that's what. Uh, so it yeah, but, change, but that's a good thing, right? The the display number you want to one to three, and then you know. 
<laughs> three again, or you, I mean, if you, I, I, I understand. Yeah. It's not perfect, but it's better to actually start with one, but you should be aware of it. Uh, one action item we discussed is number four at one meeting could suddenly be number five the next meeting. Sure, but this is for the closed yeah. one, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, the next one we had discussed a meeting with the uh, DeathNet. I think this is an, a stale uh, action item that, you know, that's my feeling. But let me know if uh, we still want to discuss the ex coexistence of MIAD with DeathNet Control Word and OEM. So I think uh, we did talk a lot about this. Uh, um, it's I directive. Think yeah, um, if I put that net, uh, net um, I think that the current state of communication between that networking group and um, open um, design team is uh, quite good. So it's uh, <laughs> open communication. We have a cross pollination and uh, just keep it open and uh, okay. see if we need to share some ideas that. Uh, specific to that. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll remove it from here. And uh, I think the next one is also closed. Uh, basically, uh, Balaj, uh, Balaj uh, had shared the uh, the drafts related to Miad. I remember. Uh, yeah, it's completed. So I'll, I'll remove uh, that. Yeah, yeah. We 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 had a presentation then. Uh, uh, I, we had a presentation and more uh, discussion now on that net. Uh, working group list about the new proposed uh, uh, DACH format. Uh, so uh, we don't have a spe special uh, mailing list for open design team, don't we? No, uh, we don't have a special mailing list. No, as far as I know. So um, anybody interested, please join that uh, working group list uh, if you uh, want to discuss because. Um, in this uh, DevNet group, uh, we have uh, open um, bi-weekly meetings to discuss OEM issues. So uh, you're welcome uh, to join. And uh, we're now working with the uh, DevNet uh, group chairs, with Janos in particular, because uh, he's uh, leading these uh, discussions uh, to so, restart. So, Greg? Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you uh, just send a mail to the MPLS work group list and address the design team and tell them about the discussion going on in, in uh, Of course, yeah. That okay. there is a discussion going on in that, that and give the dates we need uh, to. I, I will. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Um, um, from the remaining action items, there is some cleanup to be done, but the, I, I do see that uh, one action item uh, 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 was to, to uh, follow up. Well, okay, so the policy for putting data in stack and outside the stack, I think Kiriti had produced a, uh, a wiki for that. Um, so um, I, I think it's, uh, it's in a uh, closed state, right? This uh, action item. Um, we do have a write up. Did we agree on that um, write up that? That policy to include in the stack or outside the stack. I think we should discuss it uh, in the okay. next uh, meeting if we have time. Uh, so put it on the agenda for next meeting, and then um, you know whatever the final text. Uh, well, there's nothing as final, but uh, whatever the consensus text is at the meeting, <clears throat> um, we will. We, uh, I will. I will fold that into the draft for the next update. But that action item is closed, I, but again, this is work in progress. So it's the way I look at the action item is it is uh, a first stab at it. And it is a recognition that that's an important thing to do. But uh, I think we should come up with, uh, you know, a more consensus text. Now, um, 11.25 is Thanksgiving for some of us. 
Ah, uh, okay. Yes, indeed. Uh, so we'll push it for, uh, is it a 12, uh, 12, two or 12? 12, 12, two should be, yeah. Okay. Can't remember if Thursday is, uh, I'll check it. Um, if it is uh, 2nd of December. Um, it is. It is. Okay. Hey, um, um, there was an action item, uh, yet, but, uh, there was an action item to discuss user, um, oh, actually did they generalize the meaning of reserved action bits in the indicator label? Uh, can this be signaled in the control plane? Uh, can the, you know, the meaning of those bits be, uh, context, uh, the, you know, is it per LSP? Is it global in the whole network? Uh, yeah, so, so I think we, the user defined, maybe that's, uh, that's another way to call it is the, those bits, um, the, the action bits or the function bits that whatever we want to call them, are they, uh, mm, scoped within one LSP within the whole network or standardized, uh, in an RFC. Right, and and I think the general idea is that uh, there should be a set of bits that are standardized, but then there can be a set of bits that are, um, you know, either per administrative domain or per IGP or uh, even down to this per LSP. But we should, uh, and I guess this was the action item for us both, to come up with some. Um, some thoughts around that, put that on paper and then, and then see if there is some consensus, um, in the, in that direction. Anyone uh, wants to also contribute to this? Uh, well, we, we can produce the, the initial text and then um, then anyone can contribute or, or, or comment. Okay, fine, fine by me. Okay, the next one is uh, the use cases. It is on the agenda. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll provide an update, quick one. Uh, when the turn comes on the agenda, um, I think the, next, the the subsequent ones are already taken care of, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I'll uh, take an action item to clean up the list. Uh, I'll go back to the agenda, Loa, now and uh, see what's okay. next on the agenda. Um, okay. Can you also create the next agenda, which is, I guess, December second? And um, so that we, uh, or or you can do it after the meeting. But uh, no problem. I, I certainly I can, you know, collect. Uh, so we did say uh, the the design directive uh, text will be discussed. Yep. Okay. We have a, a bit uh, standardization of actions. Uh, can we just call it fun action? I mean, function, is, I've already said, I'm not very happy with that word. I don't want children computable functions here. I just want to stay forward action. Um, so scope, I think scoping. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Uh, anything I have to, uh, missed, uh, we need to add. If anybody remembers, I'll keep populating that. Okay. You can date that December 2nd. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Um, the next uh, item we have on the agenda is uh, use cases discussion. Um, so we uh, last time we met, uh, I did uh, 
I did um, um, appoint, uh, you know, like the GitHub repo that has the zero zero or the rough draft that we intend to publish. I got feedback from multiple people, and thanks for all who uh, gave the feedback. Why you, Kiran? Um, I can't remember. Maybe I missed someone else as well. Uh, so there is some action item to address some of the comments we got, and uh, and um, you know they, they were given by email, but uh, you know I'll I'll will work uh, through them and produce the revision zero. Um, once we have the updated uh, draft. I can bring it to the to the agenda for next time if needed, or we can keep it up and, and let people offline, the, you know, give it a read and then and then comment on it. So both. All right, yeah. Eric. Yeah, I have um, one thing I always say when uh, <laughs> it takes a long time to get a uh, draft posted. Uh, this is this is drafts. The, you, you can post them quite early, as long as you have some a structure that is possible to discuss. And you can it's actually, uh, I, yeah, I didn't probably, I, did I say post? Uh, yeah, I mean, eventually we want to post it onto the IETF repo. Yeah, uh, you want. It is right you, now in GitHub. Uh, it's GitHub, but uh, I mean, you need to, you need to post it quite. It's better if you post earlier than later okay yeah and you don't you don't need to finalize anything you can actually, actually tell the in the text that there are comments oh i see okay yeah sure okay uh yeah we can we can um, expedite posting the zero zero version um yeah i can take it as an action item let me take it down here Okay. Yeah. Any, you know, I promised to expedite the revision zero. Work mm -hmm. the comp. That's fine. I'm not really sure what expedite means, but uh, uh, do <laughs> it. That that means uh, I have to look it up in the dictionary or ask Stewart. <laughs> no, but what, what I mean is that as soon as you are reasonably comfortable with posting it, post it. Prioritize is what it means. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, uh, next up we have the requirement spec document. Uh, I think we have already published uh, 00, zero to, the, uh, to the IETF repo. Do we need, do we have an update? Uh, um, this is Matthew on the call. Yeah, hi, I'm here. Um, oh. So I I went through it. I only just made a real tweaks to it to fix some fix some spelling and grammatical errors and things. Um, but I think um, with respect to the specific requirements, I think we probably could do with um, <laughs> some more detailed review. Um, maybe maybe like you suggest there a group of sort of five or six people um spending some you know focused time on it would really help so oh, good idea sorry. i will call i will commit to read and comment i would like to have a couple of more people actually looking at it uh well i said five six um I can do a roll call and ask people to review, but uh, any volunteers to start? I, I will. I'll read it. Who was that? QED. Ah, okay, good. Um, By when do you need it, uh, Loa? Uh, so I was about to say two weeks, but that actually takes us to Thanksgiving. So that's three weeks before we actually put it back on the agenda. No, Thanksgiving is next week. So or this coming week. It's coming so week. Two okay. Weeks. So two, two weeks. weeks. Is okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
I put my name, I will review it. Uh, I, yeah, maybe not as detailed, but at least I will comment. I, I will do the review as well. All right. Okay. So that is. Sounds That's good to me because I'm away the week of the ninth. I did add your name, Stuart. I, don't, I thought you volunteered, but. I am one of those. No, no, no. I said it suits me to do it that week because the week of the ninth, I'm away. Okay. Got it. I, 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 yeah, I, I can volunteer, but you know, I, by de facto, I think I will, I want to review it as well. Yeah. Uh, Yin Chan, can you do it? Yes, I'm actually about to say, Tarek, please put my name down also. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> okay. At the right moment. Hmm. Okay, got it. That's fine, yeah. isn't it? Okay, are you going to send out an email uh, to remind people? Um, I'm, I'm good, I'll do it. I'll send a reminder for myself. If we put our name here, <laughs> we don't need another email, I think. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> People tend to forget, but yeah. I'm uh, I was actually just looking at your GitHub. I think it's better if you just send an email with the pointer to your GitHub. Uh, I'm I'm fine with that. Uh, Loa, do you, you, you wanted to send the email or? No, you. you I can do it. No. Okay, that's fine. Nice. Okay. Uh so next up on the agenda, we had a continue the discussion started uh, back in uh, ITF one twelve joint meeting. Joint meeting uh, on indicators. Uh, so there was a discussion that we started, and but that was the discussions be between uh, the Curator's proposal and uh, Jan Drake's proposals. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. And we did not conclude, at least not uh, finally conclude. Uh, I would like to. I would like to understand how we actually take that discussion uh, to an end, because it seems now that. Uh, there is no, it's no real opening to actually go for a compromise. Uh, well, I can make some points, um, and and then we can we can maybe that would be a starting point. So, uh, Loa, would you like me to do that or wait? Uh, I, I don't know if you want to finish your statement. No, I think I think it's fine if you do make some points can you share can we do it like this i want to be in on that uh, so can you share with john and me before you send it out oh i was just going to make it uh, verbally but but if yeah i mean i can uh, no, I, I would like it i like to have it in text so please note it down send to john and me and uh, the other shares and then uh, we can add if we have things in the same area. <coughs> uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Fine. So, Loa, what does the ask exactly? Sorry, I um, I missed. The... Kiriati writes down his points, send it to Shares and John, and we comment on it and add to it if if necessary. Okay. I mean, I, I, I thought, um, I mean, it, it, a meeting between John and the authors of, uh, and Kiriti and the No, author. no, I, no, this is an email discussion. We could have an email discussion, sure. I yeah. thought, uh, you know, collaboration would be uh, favorable in this case. Um, 
I do have to, I have something, uh, I have to go away for 10 minutes and I did put you as a host uh, uh, now, Loa. Um, okay. I'm, I'm going to have to stop sharing. I apologize. It's an important thing I have to do and I'll be back in 10 minutes then. Uh, save so whatever you have. I'll save it. Yeah. Um, are you comfortable sharing the agenda from your side? Uh, I hope so. Where do I have it? Um, Okay, uh, so where do I do the sharing? Um, ARC. I hate when things change. Uh, sharing should be at the bottom. There would be a share button. And, uh, do, do you want me to share? Are, are you? Kiriti, it, yeah, Kiriti, if yeah. you can, I can put the link for uh, the agenda in the chat. Well, I, I have it on my screen. I guess that can, can you see my screen? Yes, yes. Thank you for sharing it. Thanks. Um, okay. I don't know how. Oh. But that's like not that. the. It is. It is. Uh, that's the updated agenda. That. Yeah, we're working on it, as we speak. Oh, I've not logged in. It's out. Oh, it has. Let's see if I can. I mean, I'm not logged in either. Yeah. Let me unshare and then. Okay, I'll log in and then I'll share again. How could you make me host if I'm not logged in? It curate to disappear. No, I'm here. I'm just logging okay. in. Um, okay. Okay. Ah. So you should see my screen again, and now I can edit it. Now you can click on the. Oh, um, am I in the right place? We can share. We go to the agenda. So there it is now. Um, open design team. Agenda yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, Tarek, if you need to go, go. Or maybe he's already gone. Okay. He's probably gone. Okay. All right. Um, it's small. Why is it so small? Oh, okay. You... Um, I just made it bigger. Okay. Okay, so where were we? We were at the uh, discussion. Yeah, so is it part of agenda item four that, um, you know, this um, text that you were suggesting? 
Uh, I have something here. Uh, yeah, it's not that, that you you are you have your courses there. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Can you make make it even bigger? No. I can probably. No. Can I do it myself? Oh, I could. Make some difference. Uh, to be fair, actually, John agreed last time to call it the network action indicators. Okay. No. Oh, the truth. Uh, N I A. Yeah, 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 yeah. A I. John, that was correct, wasn't it? Okay. Yeah, I changed it. Um, yeah. But uh, I, I think the draft still is N F, but it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, but since it's only in the wiki, so it's easy to change. Sure. Uh, and then you circulate it uh, for people that might have comments. Yeah, that's okay. That's what I said. Share. Ah, okay. Um, yeah. So, so you said initially to share with MPLS shares and John, and then uh, um... actually try take MPLS out. You have. Okay. Uh, pals and that the chairs also. Yeah. The chairs is fine. I just got it me at chairs. Okay. Well, what well, does it have to be restricted to chairs? Is there no reason why everyone can't see it? Oh, once we have, uh, I don't know. We we can do it either way. Uh, once the, I guess. Uh, well, I'm not speaking for Loa, so Loa, go ahead. Uh, well, I might have. So if you. You, cre you create your text. Actually, one reason I did it this way was that I want to put the pressure on you to do it early. So we had time to comment on it before next meeting. But if you promise me to. Uh, do it early. And then uh, send a mail to the list and say that the text is there and please comment. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. You can do it to everyone. But I think I want to have about a week to look at. So, um, I will try to get it out by the end of next week. Uh, next week, actually, I'm on PTO. So, um, early part of uh, December. Uh, and, and then, you know, we probably can't discuss it during December 2nd, but we can discuss it. Um, so. Only that December second started to be. Yeah, yeah. So I said right. uh, we'll discuss it December ninth. Okay. So, so I will. That... I will create the text. Uh, you know, hopefully early part of uh, that week, so November thirtieth or something, and send it to the list. And then on December ninth, uh, we can discuss it. Stuart, you said you won't be here though. Um, I mean, we can't. 
Uh, the, the bad, well, you, you, I mean, you know, do what you should do what you need to do. I'm just giving advance notice that I'm on holiday with my wife on the the ninth, assuming Germany isn't shut down with COVID. <laughs> well, I hope you have a good holiday. Thank you. Um, what we'll do is um, we'll share the text so you can always have comments by email, and then if uh, if there's anything you know um, that happens, there's always a recording for the December ninth meeting. So. You can catch up and, and talk to us. I can always chase you down, Kariti. I can always chase you down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no way you live. Right. Now, the, the, the thing for me is that I'm probably on an airplane on December 9th. Uh, so that's why I want to have it earlier so I actually can get my comments in, in writing. So, um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Like I said, I plan to get the text out, at least that initial version, the early part of uh, not next week, but the week after. So somewhere around uh, November 30th, December 1st. Um, so the goal was then we can discuss it on December 9th. That's fine. So. Okay, so that's that. Mm -hmm. Five, we already decided. Oh, oh, this was this was this one. Oh, this. Um, I'm not sure what this is about. Wait, wait. Uh, can you okay, go, to, yeah. go, to, go to the top of the document? Uh, oh, the, where yeah. is uh, Tarek started to plan next meeting. Yeah. Uh, th this is the second bullet. So we all, all already decided on it. Okay. The, 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 we, we have a basic agreement where my position is that we should make a fairly easy statement to the work group. And wait, wait, uh, the, the scope discussion is actually about um, if we have indicated bits, what part of them should be standard, what part of them should be defined by the operator, and what scope can they have? Can they be uh, LSP scope? I, uh, you know, uh, oh, okay, be... now then I'm, so then that, I'm yeah, that's a different, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the basic design directive on. What can you actually place directly after the uh, bottom of stack bit? Yeah, and that then, was, um, I think that's what this is a number five. Yeah. Yeah. So um, my text at this wiki, uh, which unfortunately I can't show at the same time, um, essentially tries to. Uh, Unfortunately, it says FAI, but I can remove that. Um, what it tries to do is show a label stack and and then uh, and so to make this statement a little more concrete is show the label stack and then show the uh, post label stack data. So okay, uh, um, I think I think this statement is fine, but I, I would like to update my wiki to actually uh, make it solution neutral and say, essentially there's only one PSD after the label stack and that PSD is indicated by the nibble. Uh, sounds good. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit concerned that we actually starting to put, or at least in the text that we as we looked at it last time, uh, we started to put uh, almost specification into the text and we don't want to do that this is a design directive do this don't do anything else right right yeah yeah, yeah. so um okay then go go and update we can discuss it yeah yeah so um but you so should have enough Ah, oh, the bullet there. This design directive text discussion, is that for the PSD? Oh, that's what I thought. 
Okay. But so, you have two. You you have one more on the on the scoping. So that's you two yeah, different that's bullets. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is a separate bullet. I mean these are bullets. Yeah, so so I think we have at least two items for the next meeting. Uh, we also have something that is on uh, what goes in stack and what goes goes post stack. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Okay. I can work with that. Okay, so I think that's our agenda for um, at least a tentative agenda for next time. So um, we're pushing this also to next time. Um, mm, I think yeah. it's a fairly simple update, so it should be a quick, quick one. Uh, so at this point, I think we can um, go back to Matthew. Uh, we have a little bit of process uh, around the uh, uh, number five. Once working group agrees on text, then we should have uh, some type of consensus call uh, that actually spans all three work groups. Okay. Yeah. Can you ca capture that in some way in the? Not... Yeah. Well, I would I would like to have a uh, an an understanding from uh, pals and that 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 they understood what we're doing here because it affect something they could do potentially could do in in the. Uh, in, in the in the in that that and, uh, and pals, probably other work groups also. But since they're not participating, it's yeah okay, fine. I I think that from that that um, we can be safe that uh, there is a good input of information from uh, open design team into the that network. Sure, I I just want to be want to be sure that. It's actually understood. It's not the big thing. It's really uh, working group shares to say, okay, fine. We, ah, okay. So we 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 cop we could we copy this consensus call to the to our work group and see if we have any and if anything comes up. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so um, is there anything else we want to put here before um, I stop sharing and give this over to Matthew? I think it's fine. Matthew, the floor is yours. Okay, do you want me to? I think we were last time when we were going through this requirements draft, we were. Um... We got about halfway through the um, the requirement, the the detailed requirements. So um, let me just share share my kind of working text. Is that is that clear, visible? It's small. Uh, let me see how, how big I can get it. 
the text editor doesn't get particularly big. Um, Unfortunately, his text editor doesn't have a side in scale about how big to make it. Okay. Let's get in there. It's slowly growing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, it, it doesn't have any shortcut keys to do it on BB Edit. Um, okay, hopefully you can see it now. Yeah, almost. Almost see it. <laughs> Webex has something that will view. Yeah, this is. Oh, I can zoom my web. Can you, can you see that? Not really, but I can try to. Okay, that's not good, is it? Let me, let me, um, okay, I'm going to try another option. Let me. Stop I zoom my web. I'll, use, I'll just do it in text edit. Give me a minute. Try this one again. How's that? That is better. Let's see if I can. So the pro the problem I have is that it it shares it tries to share always tries to share the whole desktop and puts this in place in the desktop. It's not just sharing the window for the text editor. I don't know why, but it's really annoying. Um, but if you do share, doesn't it ask you for what you want to share? Yeah, and then I select this, but it seems to like you can see this window on a white background. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You shouldn't be able to see that. You should only be able to see the window. That's okay. The problem. And I can't seem to. Let me try this again. So one thing I can do is to zoom my WebEx meeting, but then I'll have to scroll around to make sure I'm focused on the part of the text you're looking at. That might work. You might find it back. I don't know why it's. Resizing it all the time to look like. Oh, well. Yeah. So this was the problem we had last time when we showed this. Oh, well. Okay, well, hopefully this is big enough. Uh, yeah, that's big enough. Thank you. Okay. So where we got to last time, I think, was... I don't know if you want to start again and we'll take another, do another pass on it, because we got through most of it. Yeah. Uh, last it, time. I have a little bit... A little bit of a comment. Every time you use LER, I think you need to say if it's an ingress or an egress LER. Yeah. But it was hard to follow. Yeah. It could actually be both, but I haven't really found any that were. Well, for example, this one that I just edited, it's yeah. this has to be an ingress LER because it's inserted. Yeah, yeah. Uh,
Yeah, and go back to the top and we'll just walk through them one, yeah, one time. Um, what's, what is it doing here? Did we put indications of each of those fields into the document already, uh, Matthew? So like ADI, what it is and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, there's definitely, what we've done is at the top. Okay. There's a, like definitely, there's a terminology section. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, that's, that's uh, do you want to review those terms again? Um, no, no, it's okay. I just okay. want to make sure that it's there. If I review it, <laughs> because I can. I thought when I, when I, Presented this at the ITF and went through it before the ITF. I thought there was a bit of an inconsistency between the abstract and the, the, the terminology section. Um, because the abstract says. Uh, somewhere. I am not. The abstract says, uh, what does the abstract say? So this says. The draft specifies requirements for the indicator for indicators in the MPLS label stack of ancillary data that exists below the label stack. Um, and then it says in the terminology, um, it says this data may be implicit encoded within the label stack or after the bottom of the label stack, but not set apart of the payload or within the payload. So I think I need to clean up the abstract because I think this, the terminology is talking about the ancillary data, but the abstract is a bit vague as to whether we're talking about the indicator of the ancillary data or the ancillary data itself. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's what I recall from the previous discussion is that we had to, yeah, de determine what each of these things meant or be a bit better or more prescriptive of it somehow. Yeah. So the the indicator, so there's an ancillary data indicator, it's fairly clear here that the indicator is in the MPLS label stack. Mm -hmm. Something there that says there's ancillary data in this packet. So I think that I think the terminology section is okay. I just think the the abstracts are wrong. Um, but I can I can line that up later on. So, okay. And also the description of end to end and hop by hop. Uh, we have that in in here as well. Not in here, no. Um. Yeah, we should probably add that. So, so end to end would be LER to LER, and hot by hot would be LER to LSR or LSR to LSR or LSR to LER. Yeah, I think hot by hot would be potentially every um, LSR, including the LERs. Um, yeah. The, and uh, end to end would be LER to LER. Sorry, when? No, no, I agree, agree, agree. And do we have to specify the hierarchical nature that we can end up to? Should we also clarify that? Um, well, so there's going to be a framework document, and that's more kind of architectural, isn't it? So yeah, sure, sure, sure. But at least if you put requirements, at least people should have a bit of an understanding. Yeah. On the concepts, not. But. Yeah. I agree. It's a bit overlap. I, I have a question around the same area. Uh, if we look at, for example, MPLS TP, they have a concept called a MIP. And that uh, maintenance, maintenance intermediate point is addressable in its own right, it's not just a, a, a hop uh, on the path, it's a, it's a specific point. Do we need something like that? So, so I think in that case, didn't you have, didn't we have to give MIPS special identifiers? Anybody existed unless they had an identifier? Um, no, um, MIPS usually don't have identifiers. 
because uh, they can only uh, uh, receive, uh, well, obviously MAP and MIP in, uh, in the context of OEM. So uh, MIP cannot uh, trans transmit or generate uh, OEM uh, packet. Only MAPs uh, can generate uh, OEM packet. MIP can respond to OEM packet. And that's kind of a difference here because I think hop, can hop by hop be LSR to LSR. Uh, I would yeah, say that hop by hop can be only again uh, if it's hierarchical um, tunnels or hierarchical LSP, then um, to generate packet, I would imagine that uh, it must be LAR. So um, two comments here. One is I'm not sure if we should be talking about MPSTP in this document, but I think uh, Loa's question was a little uh, a higher order, which is essentially, you know, when we the distinction that we have today to to go back to your point uh, or your question, um, Matthew. We have end to end, which means the ingress LER is sending some data, which is of only of interest to the egress LER. So, for example, if you're doing MPLS fragmentation, to take a random example, the ingress will fragment it. Everyone in the middle couldn't care less, and then the egress has to put it together. Or if you're doing uh, end to end OM, the ingress is going to put some data, and the egress is going to process that data. If you say hop by hop, what we have right now is pretty much everyone on the path should be looking at it, uh, but they may or may not, depending on their processing capabilities. What the what Loa's comment tells me is, should we have some filtering mechanism that says only so and so nodes on the path? I, I don't know what that identification would be, but only so and so nodes need to look at this. And I think for now, let's keep this simple and say we have end-to-end -end, uh, requirements for MIAD and we have uh, hop by hop requirements for MIAD. For now, hop by hop means every hop, potentially every hop on the path. And later, if we see a reason for doing something more fine-grained than that, and we have a mechanism to identify those, the moral equivalent of a MIP identifier or, or, or a MIP identification, then we can get into that. But I think right now we can keep it simple. Uh, I kind of agree. Uh, the um, I want, would like to save a note somewhere. I don't know actually where just now, but that we actually discussed and took this took a decision on it to keep it simple. Took a decision, yeah. Um, yeah, so Tarek, who's keeping minutes actually? Um, oh, um, Tarek, maybe. So oh, sorry, I uh, I would keep minutes, oh. no problem. I wasn't aware that I should. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, what was the thing you wanted to capture me? Uh, capture, uh, Matthew. Lower, you phrased it better, I think. Uh, so I can try and I can paraphrase what uh, Kirita said. That uh, for for the time being, uh, we would uh, keep the mechanism on uh, sending uh, information to between LSRs simple. We do it either uh, LAR to LAR, or we do it uh, to any node on the path. Uh, we don't have a mechanism to uh, say that this node in particular need to, to look at this, and the other should not just should just not care. Um, there is also a requirement somewhere down here about I thought about supporting by hop and and end to end, so we could just clarify that in that requirement. Where is it? Can we uh, can we clarify what information are we talking about? Sending information between. LER and LSR. What is the information? Is it uh, exactly what? Generally, I was thinking in terms of post stack data, but it could be also in stack data. Um, 
we my current feeling is that in stack data is pretty much processed by every node and post stack data can be divided into that which should be processed by every node and that which uh, is only needed end to end okay it's something i'm missing still so mechanism for sending information between LER and NSR, uh, the P P PSD and ISD we uh, are embedding inside the packet. Uh, are we saying that the information will be out of band, a control plane out of band? No, no, no. no. Okay. This is for PSD and ISD, um, but uh, I think mostly for PSD, mostly because there is PSD information that we see today that is only yeah. of interest end to end. Right. Uh, okay. So. Uh, okay. So and so and coding. There maybe. may be in the future PSD information that is of on, only of interest to a subset of nodes, but that requires a method of filtering those nodes and indicating that, and so okay. that's a future okay. study. Okay. Okay. I got it. Okay. So so mechanism for indicating that. Uh, the PSD is uh, relevant to end to end or hop by hop? For now, yeah. And yeah. in the future, maybe a subset. And the other thing about this is that if there is a difference between data that must be processed by uh, every hop and data that not, might actually be, uh, yes, uh, stepped over by some of the by some of the nodes. So that's actually uh, a difficult one. Um, in in uh, IPv6, you have these bits, and <coughs> in some of I think IPv6 especially, you have these bits that say, uh, if you can't process this, you need to drop the packet. And in uh, other bits, you know, or, or some combination that says, if you uh, can't pr process this, it's okay to just continue forwarding. To date, in, in MTLS, we haven't said, you know, if you can't process this, drop the packet. So, for example, when you add an entropy label to a packet, if you can't process it, you might not even see it because it's, you know, three labels deep or five labels deep or 20 labels deep. Um, you just ignore it and keep going. So, this would be a fairly big change if you say, yeah. if you can't process this, drop the packet. Um, but, you know, it's something we can consider. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's one of the reasons I brought it up, because if, if you start doing it, it's a big change. Uh, yeah. yeah. And I'm not sure if I want to do it. It's just a... Uh, it, it, it might be uh, security uh, related uh, that we want to drop if, uh, if a packet cannot be processed correctly. Like, it, so... it might... Security Hang issue. on, MPLS drops packets it can't process. If it doesn't understand the top label, it's bye-bye packet. Yeah. Yeah, but, but we don't say, um, you know, go into the packet and if you can't process going, uh, everything is based on the top label, yes. And yes. what we're saying now is, if you can't reach the PSD, um, I'm sorry, I have information that's really critical there, so please drop the packet. Yep. Uh, that's the kind of thing that I think we need to be a little bit careful about. Um, Tarek, I didn't understand your... So, so, uh, so, so wait a moment, Kariti. Um, presumably, you put it there for a purpose. Yes. 
And if you put it there for a critical purpose, then you definitely want that packet to go away. True, and true, true. Could, And I could argue that in MPLS, no packet goes anywhere unless it's supposed to go there and it's understood how it, you know, what, what is to be done to it. I and mean, we do seem to be sort of moving away from that sort of central plank of the architecture that every packet is there only because it's supposed to be and it's only gone to a node that understands it. Yeah, but until now we were just forwarding. Uh, so now let's say, uh, and I'll give you a pretty critical example. So I'm not disagreeing right. with you, but mm -hmm. um, if I if I were to say here's my top label, and then yeah. further down I say, oh, and by the way, I'm pairing a slice identifier, and that slice identifier means I want such and such treatment of right. the packet, and if you don't give me that treatment. My end-to-end -end SLA that that this slice is supposed to give it might be violated. So exactly. please do, yeah. So so I'm giving you an example where I think what you're saying is is good, but uh, I am I'm not disagreeing. What I'm saying though is, until now we've only looked at the top label. That's the only label that you have to look at, and based mm -hmm. on that you make decisions. Now we're saying. If you look at the top label and then you go down, you know, you might have to go down three labels and find this indicator thing that says, by the way, I have some seriously important information. Um, yep. You know, it might be a slice indicator, it might be a PSD. I want you to process the hop by hop OM in my PSD. If you can't do it, drop the packet. This is new. Well, yes, but the whole thing is new. So, um, I, I'm still of the view that that packet should never have been there because you should have scoped out the path before you sent the packet. True, but but that's a whole separate issue. But what we're saying, yeah, go on. what we're saying now is, if you can't, I mean, we're putting the moral equivalent of those uh, bits in IPv6, saying if you can't process this, drop the packet. Don't just let it go. So yeah, saying, I, I'm not against it, but that's something different in it. But but the, but the design philosophies are radically different. In IPv6, despite the fact that some people want to build a limited domain one, the fundamental design philosophy is this packet could turn up anywhere on the internet. The fundamental MPLS uh, philosophy is packets only go where they're supposed to go. They're not supposed to be in this network unless we wanted them, and they're supposed to go where we wanted them to go inside the network. That's a different but matter. You know, we can be much stricter. Uh, I, I, we can, I, but... I want to comment on uh, on the slice ID thing uh, that you brought up. Uh, yeah. So there are two cases. One case is I understand the encoding, I understand the TLV, but the slice ID is not local to the node. Uh, you know, the, the packet arrived here when it shouldn't, uh, because there is no uh, resources it's assigned. Okay. Yeah. Yep. There is no resources assigned for this slice on this node. Um, uh, that's one case. The other case, I think, what it what you bringing up is, you know, it's a it's a legacy node that does not understand the encoding at all, or maybe that function that or action that we're uh, defining a new one. Uh, so, are they different or the same bucket? They are different. Uh, so, if it shows up, I think this is to Stuart's argument. If it shows up where it's not supposed to drop the packet, I mean, we do this with the top label, as he pointed out, and I think we should do it uh, for, for this um, as well. In the other case, it could also be a transient case where my forwarding engine is so booked, I cannot find the cycles right now to go to you know the guess and and uh, the the slice id and do something with it or go to the bottom of stack find the psd and operate on the om in that case do i forward the packet without doing anything to it or do i drop it and what we're saying now is potentially we 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 have some indicator either in the control plane or in the data plane that says if you can't deal with this, drop it, and even if it's a temporary condition. So, Stuart, to your point, you might have carefully scoped out everything, but you have now placed this packet at a node. It's supposed to be there. It has all the capabilities. It just happens to be, you know, full up to 
you know, uh, underwater. Well, and, 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 and it depends on what the characteristic is. You may still not want it delivered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's basically what we're saying. Well, 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 so, so the right way to encode um, that property is, is, is as a property of the FEC, isn't it? So it can be in the fact. It can be in the uh, in the packet. That in IPv6 is in the packet. In in here because we're dealing with so few bits, we might put it in uh, in the fact. Uh, but but fundamentally, what we're saying is, even if you understand the top label, even if you're like uh, you know, you're you, the packet is properly here. If you can't do certain processing instructions, which is more than just plain forwarding, like dealing with OAM or uh, I don't know if you consider forwarding, uh, putting it in the right queue and giving it the right treatment, drop the packet. Uh, Again, I'm not saying I'm against this. I'm just saying this is something new in, uh, in MTRS. One comment about putting it in effect. So you can put it in effect, but if you have two actions, one action wants uh, a violation drop, the other one violation pass, uh, then you need two facts. And if you have 10 um, actions, you need 10 facts, 10, 10 facts. So when, 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 so well, um, in no, the fact, no, no, uh, you would, you, you would have a more complex, uh, um, um descriptor than that wouldn't you you would you if it, there would be a it could be a mixture of uh, this is a must this is a must this is a don't care but it could also be in the standard standardization so you might say um here are the things that you must process and here are the things that uh, you should and here are the things that you may and you know and so mm-hmm. on <clears throat> and and so for well-known uh things like well-known indicators or well-known uh, PSD information, you might say, here's the case. Well, um, so you might have a profile. You might have profiles for the facts, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's closer to a profile, I think, because you wouldn't want to bind in the standard a set of a set of behaviours and stop someone ever doing that set of behaviours again. I'm not sure I agree because mm. if you say that it is important for my uh, my slice processing that end to end, not end to end, every hop must be able to process the slice identifier and do the appropriate powering actions, including queuing and per hop behavior. Uh, you could bake that into that particular standard. Um, and if someone says, "I want a different type of slice that's more uh, relaxed." You could say, okay, burn another bit. Uh, you could say for OAM, um, there's some OAM that must be processed hop by hop. There's some OAM that uh, should be or may be processed hop by hop, and there's OAM that's just end to end. And I think that's currently how the OAM, they, they don't have the distinction between the finer grain hop by hop stuff, but they do say, here's OAM that must be processed end to end, and here's OAM that should be processed hop by hop. So here's the fundamental sort of philosophical sort of difference that's going on here. There's the M- there's the IP camp, which basically bakes everything in the packet so it could get a random packet and it would always know what to do. There's the traditional MPLS camp where everything is is up for grabs and the control plane specifies what it is. And I'm not sure that moving into the IP camp is necessarily the best thing for MPLS. We do that very, very, very carefully. Because in the past, that's not the route we've used. In the past, the route we've used, except for one or two sort of really, really exceptional cases, is um, that the control plane determines what's going to happen. Well, for the control plane, mean you meaning, you know, Essentially, the uh, the mapping between the uh, in, in the um, label and the piece of code that runs when the label is seen, however that gets there, whether that's an SDN thing or a uh, GMPLS thing or a um, sure, but, but, or whatever. But, no, no, I, I get you. But but here's the thing: when MPLS started, we were looking only at the top label, and we yep. almost never look at any label below that. Yep. <laughs> 
So for example, I only get to process the VPN label when I get to the end hop and either I do a, a PHP or UHP and I can yep. see the, the that label. <clears throat> now we're talking about going down into the stack and doing things. And so I there's one argument about IP versus MPLS in that IP is global, internet wide, and, and MPLS is a limited domain. Yep. I don't buy that, but but I want to put that aside. The other is when IPv6 started doing its things, it said, look, I'm going to have these options. So you can look at the front of the packet and say, this is my destination. I need to point in that direction and go. But then there are all these options and you might want to go and process those options. And I think we're in a similar place in MPLS now where you're saying, you can look at the top of uh, top of stack label and say, yeah, what this means is go in this direction and, and that's good. And if I don't understand that clearly, I have to drop the packet. But I do understand that. But I also understand that there's stuff that's maybe further in the packet. So I might look for an indicator of some kind that says, yeah, there's an entropy label here or there's forwarding actions indicators or whatever. I might go to the bottom of stack and look for things there. The problem is now, the same problem that the IP guys had, do you have enough processing cycles to do this? And if you don't, or do you, do you give this packet a pass or do you drop the packet? That's the part where we're taking from IP and bringing it to MPLS, that in MPLS, you know, I had very simple processing, look at the top of stack, if I understand it, do what it says, if I don't understand that push pop, you know, whatever, uh, and then move on. But now you're saying, look inside the stack, look at the bottom of the stack, look at the PSD, and that all takes cycles. That's a big difference. Um, so if we take the time sensitive networking use case, um, I, although people don't like TSN uh, to call it time sensitive, um, we we were proposing to encode um, a time budget per, uh, per node uh, yep. in the label stack. I yep. could have as well uh, signaled in the control plane, you know, this is your time budget uh, for this hop and so on. Every hop I can signal somehow using maybe a, a, a mm -hmm. signaling protocol and avoid having to carry inside the packet, um, you know, this time budget, uh, you know, yep. in the table stack. Um, I think there is value to, you know, people are mm, seeing more value these days in putting data inside the packet versus signaling uh, state in the control plane. Uh, it, it's not... I can... Sorry, Tarek. Uh, one value is that there are things that are transient. And, and so I may be in general able to process this, but right now I can't. So I would like to know what do I do. Uh, but, but, but I agree with you. There's, there are things that uh, you can put in the data plane today that maybe 10 years, 20 years ago you couldn't. So I'm, I'm with you. Um, sorry, please go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you and with Stuart. I think it's not a blanket statement. There's a there's a sweet spot that we are searching for. I think uh, where it makes yeah. sense to put it in control plane, and you know, and other cases it makes sense to put it in data plane, in the packet. I mean. So we're at the bottom of our time. Um, you know, we're at the end of the official time. I just want to. Um, to say that because I know we've lost a couple of people. I think this is an important discussion. <clears throat> uh, we've gone a little far away from Matthew's document, but mm -hmm. maybe it's something that we need to put into the requirements. Um, how do we want to continue this? Do we spill over to the next one? Do we, um, do we continue going now? Um, or, 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 or do we spin up another meet, another sort of uh, meeting another day next week just to look at this? Mm -hmm. That's a would be a possibility. Uh, besides the you know the holidays in the U.S., uh, so we have um, any any day uh, except Thursday, Friday, I think, next week. So Thursday, Friday is off for Thanksgiving. Yep. Thursday, Friday, that's 25, 26, is it? Yep. I can do any of this times next week. Um, Matthew? 
Yeah, I can do. Um, I'll have to chat. I can I can do this times usually next week, but it has to be. I can only stay on for about half an hour. Um, Tuesday, I can't do it this time. At all. So what about Wednesday? Wednesday. Everyone is okay with Wednesday. Yeah, I think I can do the Wednesday. Cook? I mean, come on, you got to spend the whole day cooking. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, Wednesday's fine. Yeah. I, I imagine yeah. Matthew's on the school run or something. It is, yeah. <laughs> uh, so Wednesday's fine with me. Uh, just a suggestion. I mean, it, it, it would just allow no, us I to think, I think it's fine. Let's try it. Uh, anyone that is interested to continue the discussion, uh, Wednesday next week, the 24th, at 4 p.m. Uh, European Standard Time. Or it's CEP, isn't it? I mean, Sweden has a... Yes, it's oh, 3, 3 p.m. GM, 3 p.m. GMT. Oh, UTC. Or oh, UTC, uh, it, depending. So, one time. or 4 p.m.? So, so again? Yeah, is that uh, 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. GMT? 3 yes. p.m. GMT is 4 yeah. p.m. in uh, Sweden. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Tarek, can you put... And create the WebEx meeting. You put sorry, what I didn't catch uh, what you what you meant. Uh, we we need a new WebEx. Oh yeah yeah, I can, oh. I'll take care of it. I can set up a new meeting, yep. and yep. I'll send it to the MPLS alias. Uh, you know. Yep yep okay? yep. yep. Sure. Fine. I, I'm going to stop recording now if everybody's okay. Yep. That's fine. Okay.